Hello everybody, we are back yet again for another drum playthrough review. And for those of you brand new, my name is Nick. I play drums and I like to watch and analyze other drummers' content and see what their technique's like because we can all learn from watching other drummers and watching their technique. It's always really inspiring. So today we're going back to, yet again, another drummer who is a favorite of mine who was in Whitechapel. I had to edit that because I didn't, I don't read news, I live under a rock. Anyway, we're reviewing Alex Rudinger again. We're going to review another one of the songs from Whitechapel's newest album album Kin that he did a playthrough for and that's going to be the song Lost Boy. Lost Boy happens to be one of my favorite songs off of that record and to me honestly it kind of exemplifies just how Whitechapel can also be heavy but technical at the same time. It's a really excellent balance between the two and it's just one of my favorite songs overall. It's, it's got all the things that I like. It's got melody, it's got vibe, it's got technical, it's got heavy, it's got everything that I want in it. So without further ado we're going to get right back into this amazing drummer Alex Rudinger. Alrighty, let's do this. Here we go. Well, let me make sure that... See, right here, he's just switching to stroll... Ugh. Listen to me. Right here, he's switching to solely finger technique. On the snare drum. Because it's a faster song. Oh my gosh, he's beating that snare up, dude. I've actually never watched this playthrough before, so... Yeah, he's beating that snare up, dude. So on the slower parts here, we see that he's still keeping a loose grip with his stick, and then when it comes to the finger technique on the snare, he switches right back up. Not really moving his wrist at all, he's keeping that locked down. Keeping the beat kind of complicated, but also kind of simple at the same time on this part. It's laid back drumming. So that way you can kind of have the course open up a little bit. Opens right back in with that blast beat again. Excellent technique on that blast beat. He is so relaxed with that other hand. That's how you want to be when you're playing a blast beat. You want to be just totally relaxed, just going. Excellent work, dude. And he's just beating his snare up on the skank beats, bro. He's beating that snare up. Yeah, once again, and he uses he uses ghost notes and he uses accents in there perfectly with these fills to kind of help bring some vibrance and life into them. Makes it more unique that way. See, look at that. Nice little drum roll on there. Accents where it needs to be. Oh, nice. He's doing a gallop on the, the snare. Oh, not the snare, on the hi-hat there. And the whole time he's using ghost notes as well on there. At least from what I can tell from this top view. Not the whole time, but it's some of the some of the ghost notes are there. Accents up to build up. Yeah, he's just excellent, dude. We're gonna get to the solo section and watch how he supports the solo in the song. It's pretty basic. He's not doing any like 16th notes or anything like that on the bass drum in between, so that way you get the, you know, on the uh, snare and the kick drum parts. I, I don't know how to explain it, but you, you, I'm sure you get what I'm saying. He keeps it simple, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's just such a joy watching this guy play drums. Nice, nice little accents on the cymbals.
he definitely, I think he was one of their best drummers ever for Whitechapel, because seriously, he is just excellent, dude. And the way he just looks back in the camera, too, afterward, he's just like, yeah, I just did that. I put in all that work. <laughs> Once again, another phenomenal performance on Alex Rudinger's part. And another example of how switching up technique for speed and all that is fundamental. Sometimes you cannot keep that same technique going the whole time. You can't just use solid wrists sometimes to use blast beats. I know I struggle with that a lot myself because I get so used to the wrist motion of just, you know, switching from a skank beat up to a blast beat that all of a sudden this hand starts to drag and then you're just like kind of flopping around there. But it's not an uncommon mistake. A lot of drummers actually do that. So sometimes it can be a little bit hard to get used to switching up again and switching to a different technique entirely because you're utilizing an entirely different muscle group once you switch from wrist to fingers. But Alex does it in a very tasteful way. It's a very easy to do way, easy to replicate, and it doesn't really take a whole lot of effort. So he's able to do this pretty easily. And you can see this exemplified because he switches straight from wrist and straight from finger technique into wrist playing and full arm playing when he's doing those skank beats. And he just goes from, you know, regular old finger, you know, French grip last beats or anything like that to just absolutely beating that snare like it's his stepchild. What a phenomenal drummer, dude. And honestly, like the amount of power that he puts off, whew, that's nice. That's really nice. He's definitely one of those drummers where you could sit down and just watch him play and not even really have music backing it. But just listening to the drums alone, you're going to be like, oh my gosh. And you're going to actually be nodding your head along to it and head banging along to it. There's not a lot of drummers that can do that. But if they can establish that much of a groove just from their playing alone without music behind it, then you're good. You're definitely a great drummer. I feel like he's definitely one of those drummers that can do that. But then adding the music behind him just makes things a whole lot more vibrant. He brings a whole lot of energy that is really necessary, especially when you're playing live. He brings that energy because of the way he just comes in. He absolutely nails it on the drums. He's laser focused. He doesn't have to be like, you know, and making a whole lot of faces. He's not even really making a lot of faces on it. He's just focused on what he's doing. He's got his head down and he's just working. But yeah, his technique is pretty darn good right there. It's very clean, very relaxed, even on the full wrist motions and he's using full arm. He's still keeping a pretty loose grip on that. His fingers, he's not moving his wrist at all like this when he does it. He's just keeping it locked out and just using solely fingers, and that's a good way to be. When you're doing French grip or anything like that, that's how you want it to go. You don't want any wrist play whatsoever. Your wrist is just sitting there. Yeah, he's an excellent, excellent drummer, and a great, a great person to aspire to if you want your technique to look really clean and all that. That's your guy right there. Yet again, another drummer with almost flawless technique. That just kind of makes me feel bad because I, I have very flawed technique but I'm working on it, so that's okay. Anyhow, this is gonna be where the video ends. So, here's a couple things that you guys can do to support me. So first thing you can do is hit that red subscribe button. It's free, you can always change your mind, but I'd be kinda sad if you didn't subscribe. You can like the video, you can also comment on the video, just let me know what you guys thought of Alex Rudinger playing Lost Boy from Whitechapel. Also, don't forget, check out the other content that I got. It's all really good stuff, I can promise you that. And with all that being said, guys, we're gonna end the video here. So, I will see y'all in the next one, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Cheers, fellas.